guys. Welcome to lesson eight, video one. And here we have a problem in front of us. Um, One-fifth times four-fifths equals four-twentieths. And the student made a model to show it. I uh, need to make it a little bit bigger so that you'll be able to see the whole thing. There we go. All right, and we're going to find the error because there is an error there. Maybe you already noticed. See if we can figure out what the um, student did to make the wrong answer. All right, do you notice that they have a section over here, but they didn't partition it? Right? So when they made their fifths and four fifths, so the four fifths, right? They have the four out of five, but when they make the one fifth, they didn't make it come all the way across. So when they counted their pieces, they only counted 20. So now if we partition it, we actually see that there's 25. So one fourth. I mean, sorry, one fifth times four fifths is actually four twenty fifths because five times five is twenty five. And you can see now that there's twenty five sections. So you want to make sure that you partition it all the way across. Let's look at this picture. You can see here about the same thing that we have on our screen. It's still four fifths. But what they didn't notice was the 25 parts of the whole block. And we can also do it by number line. So I wanted to show that since in the last lesson we didn't get to see too much of it. But one fifth, right? And then we want to break it into um, fifths. Oh, I see. So this is four fifths. And we're taking one fifth of each one. So we have one fifth and it's broken into five parts and one of those. So one, two, three, four out of 25 sections. Yeah, that's a little bit much to think about, isn't it? So we can practice with our number lines. Today we're going to use number lines and area models to find the product of fractions less than one. All right. So let's get back here to look at the next slide, which shows you previous lesson and this lesson. Here are two products that are similar to those we found in the previous lesson and two products we're going to find in this lesson. So what do you notice there? Hopefully you're noticing that we have a unit fraction, right? Any, any fraction that has one in the numerator or on top, right? So unit fraction times unit fraction, unit fraction times regular fraction. But today's, le I mean, this lesson, lesson eight, has no unit fractions. Do you notice that, right? No numerators of one. Is that going to change how we represent the expressions with area models and number lines? Yes, because we're going to need to shade in more than one part, OK? So what does the expression 2 thirds times 3 fourths mean? Remember, 2 thirds of 3 fourths. So remember that our multiplication means of. So we're going to be taking 2 thirds of 3 fourths. All right. So what about a number line to help us find this product? That's an interesting thing to think about, right? 2 thirds of 3 fifths. Let's see if we can make a number line for that. So we're going to start with the number line from 0 to 1, starting at 0 and going up to 1. And we're going to break that number line into fourths. Three lines makes four fourths. And we're finding 2 thirds of 3 fourths. So we're going to need to show fourths. And this would be 1 fourth. Make sure you're putting this in your notes. 2 fourths. 3 fourths. 
and 1 would be the same as 4 fourths. We could draw that if we needed to. Um, how can we use this number line to represent 2 thirds of 3 fourths? We already have our fourths, right? We can partition each of the 3 fourths into three equal parts so that we can show thirds of our fourths. Okay, so let's get a different color for that. And two lines makes three parts, right? Okay, there we go. All right, and then we're gonna shade in two of those, two thirds of one fourth, two thirds of two fourths, two thirds of three fourths. And that's as far as we're going to go, right? Because we're doing two thirds of three fourths. Okay. Are we ready to use this number line to find the product? I think so. Yeah, it looks good, right? Okay, do we know what the product's going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many total parts? Three, six, nine, twelve, right? And if we multiply right across, 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 4 is 12. So is it reasonable that 2 thirds of 3 fourths is 6 twelfths? I think so, because it's less than 1 than 3 fourths, and it's less than 2 thirds. OK. All right, very good. I think we're going to move on to number one in our books. So looking at number lines, hopefully it's getting a little clearer for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your hard work. Aloha.